The invasion of Tatooine began with a brutal battle in orbit, and that was just the start. We lost the Agaba, one of the few remaining Venators, and it's been felt throughout the task force. Captain Teradef was a good man. We served in the Zygarian front during the Clone Wars, fought those slavers side by side. I remember the Agaba blowing through the Kawak ice fields and surprising the Zygarian Armada. They managed to save the Liberation and my ship at the time, the Endurance, from utter defeat. He was awarded the Medal of Valor by the Republic High Command for his actions. That same man has been quietly under investigation by the ISB for potential acts of sedition. He outwardly criticized current Imperial doctrine. It'll take some doing, but I think I can press the need for these charges to disappear now that Michael is dead. The Rebel 224th, known as Crate Company, put up a considerable fight on the planet's surface. Considering the company is under-trained and poorly equipped infantry, their tactics were brutal and the casualties inflicted were surprising. It didn't help that they had months to prepare their fighting positions, with the largest battle being based about 10 kilometers outside Moss Espa. The local Mandalorian mercenaries were a great help, I'm told. Something to keep in mind if we ever have the opportunity to hire another clan. The intel Nim supplied has proven valuable. Deep in the rings of Geonosis, we found a dry dock and a supply center. Taking it out didn't come without cost, though. We lost the ISD Stoic. It's been quite the week, but the mid-rim is slowly coming under my control. Now, I've got letters to write. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Gab Shack here, and welcome back to Empire War Forces of Corruption, playing a wonderful mod, Awakening the Rebellion, that I highly recommend. It is located, the link's down in the description. We're playing as the Empire, trying to bring peace and prosperity to the galaxy through superior firepower, and, well, kind of being really people. So, <laughs> you know it's true, it's the Empire. Uh, we have our fleet. We have the fleet over Geonosis that has managed to at least take over the orbit. Now, I was just chatting with Stream about this. Um, I thought, for whatever reason, I thought, oh, the ground invasion of Geonosis was going to be a nightmare because it is Geonosis. It kind of has a track record in the, in, you know, in the lore. Uh, this isn't so bad, though. It's mostly ground forces. There's not a lot of, like, you know, detachments. Okay, we get sec forces with a supply depot. One out of one. Um, this doesn't get anything, I don't think. Intelligence office. And then we've got a warehouse. Doesn't get anything. So literally, it's whatever is on the deck right now. That being said, before we can continue our siege of the Outer Rim, our ground forces on Tatooine are kind of limited. Uh, mostly, we don't even have any infantry left. The casualties to take Tatooine were a little high. A little high. Now, the enemy does have a fleet nearby, Hyporia. Now, I want to respond to some very angry comments. Uh, in the last episode. And that was, oh man, Shaq, you're you're losing space stations. You're not paying attention because we've mass built space stations all over the galaxy. And what was happening, let's turn on all the things real quick so you can see. What was happening was on some of these worlds like Deveron, I think it happened on Deveron, it happened on Tidaria, maybe Intersection 4 got it, I'm not so sure, was an enemy ship would fly through one of these. And while the station is in production, if an enemy vessel goes through, it cancels that production. It was, and it'll pop up like small text block right here saying, oh, this has been canceled and you don't get the money back for it. That's a substantial amount of money, but we built like 10 space stations last week and it takes so long to make a station, in my defense, I'm not gonna leave a fleet just sitting there waiting unless it's a key world. And we were trying to build space stations just to get our build cap up. That was the only reason we wanted them. Uh, because honestly, a tier one space station isn't gonna do a lot to stop an enemy fleet. If the rebels show up, they're gonna blow it up most likely because well, it's a tier one station. They know they can take it. They've brought enough to take it down. And you're limit you're very limited as a commander with one tier one station. So the choices are build station and sit on it, right? And wait, which we can show I'll show you guys a couple of stations that are being built. There's Tatooine, only 24% from the last episode. Uh what Manan's got one going, doesn't it? No, no, no. Cato no more Nope, that one's not one going either. Uh they take a while though. 40% for that tier two space station that Golan. Um, Ord Montel, I think it needs another buy-in, but... So the options are kind of like, just sit on it and wait. Maybe divide up the fleet, we could do that. Defend the station while it's under construction might not be a terrible idea, but... Yeah, there you're at. If you guys see pop-ups, we are over on Twitch. That's what those are. Thank you guys for the subs, I really do appreciate that. Alright, let's get to it! Um, I want to hit, I want to hit Geonosis, but we need more troops down there. And we could pull some of our forces from Bothoa. And Bothoa's pretty locked down right now. 
I think we're gonna do that. Yeah, we'll pull from Bothor. We got a level two outpost. It can defend itself. We can pull you guys out of there. I also, uh, it was brought to my attention, uh, the Arc Hammer. Oh man, look at this rebel fleet. They are not joking around. We're gonna move the Arc Hammer now that it's finished. Our, our first kind of super, super cap is what I'm gonna call it. We're gonna move that into the main fleet. Over to the main fleet, the fleet down here in the south. The reason being, I want more anti-fighter capability and I want it to be part of the fleet that attacks Sullust. And we might do that today. So let's get the Ark. It was defending the the the, the border, we'll say. Um, we'll get you down here. I see. You do have a safe route through the intersections. I'd like to get you another space station. I'd love to get a tier three here. Construction complete. But we broke. It's eight thousand. I think we're gonna do it. Construction complete. Let's go Beginning for a tier three going platform on Bothua. If we're gonna be surrounded by enemies, bring it, fools. <laughs> let's get something massive down there. And while we're talking about that, about having ships defending, let's move. Oh wow, you don't really actually have the capital ships to be moving. Under. Construction complete. Oh, look at it. The monster that it is. The monster that it is. Let's put a, put a Nebula on B. It's got that missile defense system. And we are going to move ground troops from Bothua. Because we're going to defend this planet from orbit. And let's get you guys over here with the Veers. Hey! Veers! You want a space station? We got a mission. Prototypes! What kind of prototype? Imperial Star Destroyer Class 2. Oh, hell yeah. All we got to do is have 17,000 credits. And they'll give it to us over Fondor. All right, all right. Not too far from here. Speaking of ISDs that I wanted to assign, we can get one for basically free if we just save up some cash. We literally will have the cash in about an hour. Or in game, like not even. Yeah, like, like a day. And cash. Who do we need to bring to Fondor? Uh, oh, it's an ISD 2 as well. Nice. We need to bring... Bring Bevel or the Emperor. I bring the Emperor. You want to go on a trip? Bevel? Send me moving the Emperor? Yeah, let's go. You're, you're going on a road trip. Uh, to Fondor! Shuttle en route. Shuttle en route. Let's get you over there. Now they're up to 20 grand. Good income. Mostly trading income, I think. Indeed. Do we move those troops? All right, they're on their way. But oh, they're already there. I want to hit this before they manage to build, you know, an outpost and suddenly I find myself outgunned. Free ISD2? Can't say no to that. And then we'll take that ISD2 and we'll assign it to uh, Bothawa's defense. I'm concerned about this. Do you have a hypervelocity cannon? No. Ready to go. You could have a hypervelocity cannon, but it's mostly fighters. That's not gonna fix the fighter problem. Okay. Mission log. We have an ISD too. Your new orders. Complete. Moving to the bottom. What? Wait, what? Oh, you're in orbit, and they sent a trade to two GR75 freighters. I know I auto resolve it. It's like the worst thing ever. All right, we're going to move our ground forces. I actually kind of want them to attack this world. Constructing. So we're going to leave Tatooine completely open. Oh. Oh, the Ark. We moved it before we let it finish building its death troopers. Didn't we? Yeah. Yeah, we did. He didn't manage to build any. He didn't manage to trade any. Train any. That's okay. That's all right. We'll have him set up, like, maybe over Tatooine after this is over and let him build some some really angry Imperial death robots. Because raisins. Ooh, nope. Can't talk about that. That would be a spoiler. I was going to talk about some stuff. Go watch Mandalorian. That's as best as I can do. Go do that. It's good. Do it. Do it. <laughs> Cleared for departure. <laughs> so freaking good. 
Uh, all right. Assault troops. Ready up. Here we go. We're going to break them. They do have a U-wing down there. Um, Invasion commencing. That's going to suck. Because we don't have any anti-air in this fleet. We're going to have to rely on turrets. Do it. Hey, Grim. Thanks for the 100 bits. We're going on a trip in our favorite ISD. Zooming through the sky. What? <laughs> Excuse me? <sighs> Prepare the landing craft. Find the rebel base and destroy it. They have two U wings, or do they come in groups of two? Yes, sir. Awaiting orders. Secure that position. Set up the AA turrets. Choose your reinforcements. I'm gonna go with a commander because they've got a lot of air units. Affirmative. Um, let's get some rocket troopers down to hold the points. Let's get some storm commandos to scout the rest of the map. Reporting Mission the arrival received. of our field commander, sir. Field commander's on Awaiting the deck. Your order. Tie squadron here. Let's see if a field if two ties can take on a U-wing. Uh, Ooh, bit of, a, bit of a lag up there. The battle for Geonosis. Get up, forces ahead. Look at him deploy. For the Stay Empire. on him. Go ahead and pop your ability. Stay on him. Run. Come on, he's right there. Fire. What are you doing? Fire. Is reporting oh, you slowed down. Orders, sir. Because you used your ability. There you intercept. go. Ready for command, Come on. Sir. Look at this dogfight. How cool is that? Acquiring target. How freaking cool is that? I'm on target. Remember, Empire War had no units like this other than the Snow Speeder in the original version, and now we're watching a TIE Fighter dogfight a U-Wing. TIE Squadron standing by. Advancing on target. I love the U-Wing. U-Wing, I will say this. U-Wing in the new canon, in the Disney's, like, ownership of the... What the hell are those? Oh, those are all anti-vehicle weapons. <laughs> shit, shit. Did only one tie make it? it. Only one tie made it back. Alright, let's get this down. Uh, the U-Wing is the best ship that's come out of the new one. Was that an X-Wing or a Z-95? Oh no, that's a freaking... That's a Z-95. Chat. Yeah, it's just from the outpost. They get a single. We're gonna be careful. Um, that... That sucks. I await your instructions. Like, that's gonna yes. be a thing we're gonna have to be real careful about. Oh, wait, what? Storm Commandos don't get the scout ability? Interesting. If you're playing tabletop as a GM, I highly recommend Storm Commandos as a mid-game adversary. For your players. I think they're, they're, and, and custom. Custom make them for your players. Like, rework their stats, because the best stats are shit. Uh, which is true for almost every, every AI, uh, NPC, I mean. NPC in, uh, Empire War. Or, excuse me, in, uh, tabletop FFG. Drop some trips. Destination is acknowledged. Let's get an actual scout group On the down. Way. Need something destroyed? Reporting. It's a weird army. General Veers has landed. Commence primary ground This is a really assault. bizarre army. Uh, because we don't have a lot in the way of like proper frontline infantry. We're kind of stacked. Oh man, they could easily take down these AT-ATs because of the U-wings. The U-wings have ion cannon weaponry. Yeah, think Ready Rogue One, and you're, you're on point. They, they managed to pull that off in this Ready mod, to move. Uh, which will shut these AT-ATs down. What is this back here? Gearing up. Almost oh, there. is that a droid factory? The area. You go. That is our primary objective, droid factory. I want, All I want, Roger Complete. Rogers. Awaiting destination. B1s and B2s, please. Tell me that's what I'm going to get. You should be Scout able active. to capture, right? Oh, it's broken. Affirmative, sir. Oh for the no, enemy. did they already capture this? Oh, that makes this even worse now. Balls. <sighs> Alright, let's bring the lats Engine's down. That gives us a little bit more air power. Our poor single TIE fighter back there. <laughs> Alright, um, crap. Scouts. Scout trooper report. Scouts, 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 scouts. Yes, scouts. Uh, hey guys. No. Nope. You guys. Standing by. As in you. Form up. Let me get a ping. I want to know what's around this landing site. Okay. I think dual AT-ATs with my way, lat sir. support should be able to break that bunker and grab this from us. Maybe keep the lats back behind until we kill the um, aircraft turret. Hey, what do you need me? Here's Storm Commando. Out. Get over here. 
cloak. Oh, let's get you closer. On the move. We're going to be at timeout. We're going to capture this and we're going to put a turret on it. Transmission received. Loud and clear. All right. Do it quietly. Yeah, there's the B1s. Just saw them run by. Damn, I didn't notice that until earlier. Don't you go in. Oh, we're fighting Geonosians now. Go back. Lead him into the lead him into the uh um, waiting orders. Into the AA. Come on, a little closer. Awaiting orders. There it is. Light that Z95 up. Seriously? He's not gonna take enough damage to die. Get him, Lance! Aerial artillery reporting. Oh yeah, light him up. Oh, here comes the U-wings. Yes, sir. Engaging enemy. Don't go too deep. I should have made this anti-air. I still can. Turret has been sold. Turret constructing. Turret I don't want to lose storm commandos because I'm not paying attention to the group over here. Come on, AA, you got this. I feel like the lats are getting all the work done. Ooh, make it eight tanks. I love the random questions that I get in, your orders. Oh, position here. in chat. Four right months. now, there's uh, Samuel asks, Hey, Shaq, what, what, how do you feel about JROTC? What? <laughs> Um, it's fine, I guess. Copy. Ready I was in go. it. Um, mixed feelings, obviously. I took part Ready. as a kid. JRTC is a, basically a, a normally run by retired military Scouting veterans area. in the United States that teach you about military history. You learn how to drill. Um, and if you've done it, you actually get a couple of ranks as soon as you get out of basic in most of the military branches in the United States. That being said, uh, the Awaiting mixed feelings comes from the idea that, I mean, it's high yes, school sir. military recruitment. I mean, there's a little bit of a Reporting. kind of a scummy feeling to that, if that way. makes any sense. Awaiting orders. Um, as I've gotten older, you know. But it is what it is. Reporting. Awaiting orders. Roger. All right, how do we want to divide this up? Maybe rocket infantry Reporting one in. and one in the Roger last. That. So if we need anti-vehicle, we can bring the lads in, drop rockets on the target, and then drop rocket troops on the ground. Uh, we can drop general... Advancing. Uh, general stormtroopers out of the walkers. Yes, sir. There's only one air unit left, so... Man, I would feel better if we had... There is a point. We can make, uh, like, an air coverage zone. We keep pushing forward. We take this. We put anti-air on it. And it gives us a little bubble of defense. We take this. And if we lose anyone, we can bring in reinforcements and use the landing craft as covering fire as well. Because remember, uh, Sentinels and Lambdas do have turrets. So they do work. So, uh, Yeah, and they're different branches, too. So, like, for, for JROTC, in my high school, it was the Navy. Even though I was Air Force. Um, but it is whatever you have. You don't have to go to the same um, Copy. ROTC to get right away. promotion. I yes, knew commander. I was going to yes, go into commander. the military Man. when I was in high school. Like, that was always the plan. So it, will be my honor. it didn't make sense Ready. not to right go away. into JROTC and get those two ranks. So when I got out of basic, I was immediately promoted to senior airman. Or airman first class. Right? It's airman basic. Air yeah, I was A1C coming out. It's been so long, I don't remember. Ready for orders. It's been years. Where's At our, um... Oh, you've only got Receiving rocket orders. you, and you need repairs. As you wish. Uh-oh. We got a bug. Ready for recon. See if I can, out. I can wake this thing up. Ready to receive orders. Yeah, we got a bug. He can't get it. He can't take off. The game sounds really loud. Oh, sorry about that. I'll turn it down a little bit. All right. Hey, that woke it up. So if it gets stuck, sometimes you can order a unit to uh, get into it Squad or order a unit out. to get out of it and it'll fix it. Roger you two that. are going to be group one. Our armored assault will be group dose yeah, once on I then. get them together. Ready to move. My high school used JRTC to pretty much. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, who was too disabled to participate in gym. Oh, huh. Awaiting destination. never heard of it used like that. We've got bombing runs, but we need Heading to figure out. out where we can drop a bombing run Fall without out, losing. Let's move out. Let's go. here? They, they're fast enough. They should be able to get through. Keep going. The, oh, God, the grenades off of those bikes just did a number on that building. I might just this run way. through that a few times. Over there. I think we're clear back here. Gearing up. Almost there. 
get an orbital strike too. Scanning Let's the not. Area. Watching for the enemy. Scouting area. I don't have the ground forces the right now to be. Right away. Woo! Found my target. <laughs> yep, my target. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Active. Drop the shot. That's where all the droids are. Oh, <laughs> it probably won't kill the turret because it's such a small target that the rounds will probably miss. Uh, yeah. But as for an anti-infantry blast, good night. Well, any droid advantage they had Let's has been annihilated. Let's I'm not go. gonna be able to call in an airstrike back here. It'll never this hit. Way. We'll save Over the airstrike there. for any um, frontline resistance Almost that there. we end up running into. It looks like that strike actually pissed them off greatly, so. Target acquired. Always ready, Back sir. them up. Awaiting order. Lats, Attacking. smack the shield. Break him. I want those rockets. Where are they? I think they got it. Copy. How are your bikes doing? Oh, you're dead. Bunker took you out. Your orders, Commander. Okay. I anticipate no problem. Hold back, lats. Let the armor go first. And let's get the ATs. I am ready. What is Primary order? target is this. You guys are not going to be taking points back there. Now, if I had the infantry, I would use them to go first, but we use the, we use the armor. Man, droidicas are so strong in this. At least they feel... Oh, no, he's gone. Oh, he just rolled away. Yeah, they're so strong in this. All right, bring in the lats. You're clear for your gun run now. Those grenades, man. Thump, thump, thump. Looking forward to getting the rocket ATSDs. ATATs are kick ass when they're facing the right direction. There kind of is that caveat, isn't there? Yes, sir. Landed proceeding. Oh, back. They're gonna need help. Let's get the lats back in. Drop two squads. And start pushing forward. You guys get in, I don't wanna lose you. Going too deep, you're going too deep. Fall back. Lats just got shit. Lats just got chewed up. Hey, hey. I missed. I pushed him too far forward. And they went right into the range of the. Oh, that's why they died. The huge flat cannon ranges. Damn it. Ah, man. Hey, hey. Hey, is so brutally effective in this. Hey, kill that, please. I know that's not what you're best at, but he doesn't have much health left. You just need a few lucky hits. Nice. I really need you moving. I've given you the order twice and you've still refused to move. Alright, dropping troops. We're in it now. Spread it out. Do you move now? There you go. They're too close together so they couldn't move. Come on, infantry, yes, push through this. There's like one squad holding you back right now. Let's go. These gunners need to go. Get information now. There you go. Move out. We'll hide in the crowd. Get oh, please hit that now. before he sets up. Damn it. Yes, sir. Awaiting orders. We're rolling. Yes, commander. Report. Alright, hold here. We gotta take that out before we can call any kind of bomb runs in. I'm here, sir. You can start your advance your Ready. Fire! Yes, sir. As you wish, General. Got it. Yes, Commander. Walker, move in. Oh, you're in gun range of that anti-vehicle turret, and that's gonna rip, rip, rip you to shreds. Run, run, run. You infantry, go. You turn around. Press it on. What do you guys got? Wait, one squad over there? Take that out. Come on. You can do it. I want to bring in reinforcements, but I was hoping to push farther enough forward that we could take... Nah, we're not going to be able to take it in time. Going to have to bring them in. Let's bring in... Let's bring in another commander. That way we can get some ties. Take that out. 
Anti infantry, so go ahead and take that out with those walkers. In, Ties are down. Ready Ties, get out of there. No, 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 no. It doesn't. Oh, it's dead. Okay, we're good. Oh, panic mode. I thought he was running right into that giant AA gun again. It only takes a second and they're dead. Have you guys not been able to? Yeah, you're working on it. You're working on it. We are going to get a repair center over here. Get a little vehicle depot down. Hey, Walkface, thanks for the tier one, man. Copy. You pressing? Is we need to kill that. We can't wait around. And you two should not be taking the brunt of this run. God oh, damn it. He didn't get far enough away in time. We're down to one ATSD left. Can't build yet. Um, I think an anti infantry. How are you two doing? Can you take that out? As soon as Veers is in range? He's in range. Overload the guns, Veers. You may start your approach. I will cover you. I will cover you. And then let me get some ties runs on this. Come on. Come on. Oh, you missed every shot. Ready. Attack. There's an AA gun right there. Yes, sir. Fall back. AA gun. AA gun everywhere. I await your instructions. Hold your position. Repair, Repair position facility is coming out. Order. We're lobbing a rock. Oh, that rocket didn't do Ready. anything. Did you see that? Like it yes, hit, it just didn't do anything. Right away, sir. Scout trooper report. Destruction. Hang it so you can see it. You can out outrange it, maybe. Your orders, Commander. Well, I was gonna use this as a drop zone. You may start your now I'm not so sure. I Head back to the repair center. You men take the plank. We'll clear the way for you. Copy. I need scout group. Reporting in. Reporting. You guys are perfect. Let's go. Out. Run right here. Go so grab that. And then we'll grab this. <laughs> They're just exchanging fire. Hey, Your rocket order. teams! That's what, you guys, right? No. Uh, you. Give me a rocket on that. Give me a rocket on that. So you're already in range. You've been firing. Hold position there. You, hold here. Ready. Where's that ATS? Did what he die? No, he didn't die. He's still alive. Over Come over there. here. Scouting. Get close to our tiny little repair center. Hopefully they change the model on this to look like some kind of like millet, like a mechanics depot. Because it's such a large square. I think that'd look really cool. Have uh, maybe some pieces of AT, AT or ATST and some kind of structure. Hold. We secured a landing zone. We have secured a landing zone. Good. Yes, sir. Out. Let's get the troopers on the ground, then. Right away. Yes, and let's get you guys let's moving, because I want to get another let's orbital go. strike. Ugh, two vehicle bays, really? Keep going. Scratch that. Yes, General. As soon as Standing we get some bikes, by. I'm going to rush them through the back, and I'm going to call an orbital strike down. Are you guys doing repairs? Yeah, you're looking okay. Roger that. Should be four of you. Up. There they are. The Take area. a second to spawn. There's going to be group three. We know that there's two anti-vehicle turrets on that side, so let's on go the around way. the long way. Free to planet. Right away. Moving out. All the way through. Don't stop. Heading out. Don't stop. Don't stop. More AA. Fall out, troops. Let's move out. Let's go. Copy. Keep Good going. enough for me. This way. Bomber standing by. See if we can break a hole. I copy. Weapons ready. Commencing bombing run. Reporting. Did they hit? Over there. Gearing up. Targeting round. Yeah, a little bit. Not great. Bombers. Targets engaged. Ready for orders. All right, path is clear. Follow my lead. Let's go. Ready. Except for the ties. Right away. You guys go in the corner. The bomber's just cruising through. Yes, sir. Engaging <laughs> ah, I didn't do much. Everything else should be clear, though. Unless we get stuck on the building. I'm here, then sir. we're less clear. Later, Golden. Thanks for joining us. Hey, what happened to that ATSC? Did he survive? Not only has he survived so far. He's managed to get four repairs. 
He seems to be causing the walkers some serious trouble. Get over here. On the move. Scouting area. Scouting area. Turret constructing. Good guys wear white. Oh, look at the background there with those walkers. Yeah, the bombers managed to take out the turret so we didn't have to deal. Soldiers ready, sir. No. Not no. one of you have the rockets to take this on. This may be a terrible plan. We might be able to do it with thermal deaths. Man down. Man. Throw those thermal Wait, detonators! Panic. Throw those frag grenades! We're and now take hit. cover. Fall back. Fall back. We can't take All the snipers in the back? <laughs> yeah, we could just outrange it. We've got it handled, sir. No. No! Did you ever make that video in the Arquintons? Uh, no. I don't think we did. Oh, yeah. Just waiting for something to crack the bunkers to get up here. Destroyed. Go for this. Armored transport ready. Armored transport ready. All right, Fire. take it down. You can actually compare the two ATATs. I like it. I like the tier one. I love that there's an actual visual difference to them now, other than just a window is a different color. Weirdly, the more advanced one looks older, right? Like, it looks like it's more worn down and beat up. Because they're using, like, a, like a rusted texture. They call that a defense. Reporting in. I read you. Overcharge shot. There we go. Oh, it's poor bastards. In the last bunker. Now we're gonna have to find. Copy. Oops, we're gonna have to find the. Yes, Commander. Last units that they've got. Shots on them. Losing numbers quickly. Come on, scouts. Good shot. The day is ours. Oh no, they're gonna well call done, that. Gentlemen. I assume they had another bunker somewhere. Cool. Planet's ours, Genosis. Oh, man, he, I didn't expect him to have so many units. We lost the commander, too. Oh, because I told him to get out of the walker. Yeah. I hope he used his, um, his buff ability. Okay. They had, on that planet, lots of turrets. Control achieved. Lots of turrets. Let's go ahead and get an outpost. Building started. Let's get an outpost. Complete. Let's get a... Governor's... Under construction. Go for space station. Can't afford it. actually move the fleet back here right so we can away. defend both of these. We could crush the rebellion in Hyporia. Let's do, yeah, let's attack Hyporia. That way we can give the Ark Hammer a try before we go into a proper engagement in Solace without ever having Tactical used it. Imminent. Uh, auto resolve. Don't let it get away. Yeah, you got it. Yeah, I think that's the best bet. Like, hit Hyporia or Ryloth, maybe. Imminent. Oh, my cure's under attack by what? Raiding party? Oh, no, they're raiding it. No, that is clever and terrible. Oh, balls. Oh, that's not good. Yeah, that's really not good. That's the best thing they could have done here. Because if they raid it, they can take out the hypervelocity cannon, having never had to fight it. Oh, you cheeky. Hmm. All right. They're going to land here, and they're going to come up. So, Devils, get you back. Get you back farther. Leave you here so we can hopefully defend it, because that's expensive. It's been a while since we've had a raid. 
they couldn't have picked a better target for this. Yeah. You've got a hyper velocity cannon too, so we're not completely out in the cold if they hit this. Let's do it. It's only a tier one as well, so it's all gonna be it's all gonna be normal regulars, army regulars. Not even stormtroopers. They're gonna get wrecked. <laughs> the AI being smart, that's cheating. Yeah, right? <laughs> I was unprepared for AI making, like, proper choices. Main cannon's charged. Oh, no. Yes, sir. All right. First Moving things first, let's get the turrets up here. Let's get the turrets set up back here. Order. I, I always copy. use the grenade launcher on this. Um, it was requested that I try All out the breathe. sensor array first to see if we can get better ranges on the turrets Attack when we use them. Copies. So we're going to do that over. this time. I may regret Ready it. But we're going to set you up right back here. Go ahead and get you deployed. Build the sensor scrambler. Also jams missile guidance systems. Attack tank copies. That's not going to be... I don't know how close you need to be for this. Somebody said sensors, but now I'm going to try this. I'm going to try the scrambler. Anti-infantry turret down. Anti-infantry turret down. You pod walkers need to be farther back. If the pod walkers are underneath the sensor scrambler, this might actually work. Nobody told me to build a scrambler. They said get the sensor notes so you can see farther. If we do a scramble system, and then we let this pick up the other side, all vehicles under the scrambler. Infantry, I want you to defend those turrets Hitting and keep them alive. On our way. Support teams, Let's I want go. you to kind of be in the back so you can heal everyone. All right, everybody, dig command. in. This is going to suck. Turret constructed. For this is going to suck, and we're going to die. <laughs> but we're going to hold as best we can. <laughs> Let's see if we can find some more turrets so they don't sneak up behind us. We've located the enemy. All right, that's the AOE for it. We're ready to get fire so. fire. Don't go that far forward. I probably told you to go there, but fall back. You're in healing range. There's the rockets from the enemy team. Can't move this. Yeah. How good do you think that scrambler is actually going to be? Like the rockets are still hitting us. Here they come. Oh, they have to go through a... Um, they have to go through a uh, river. So this is going to give them a debuff. I think it's a defense debuff. I know it does slow them down. Uh, excellent. Cool. Hey, Landon. Thank you for the tier one sub. Just pausing to see if there's anything we can do to make this better. Um, let's, yeah, let's go ahead and use our overpowered shots. They're not going to be able to move. That's okay. Everybody else is in cover, right? All both anti-infantry turrets are getting work done. And you're looking for a new defense station so they don't come in from the north of us. Complete. Which seems to not exist. Alright, now we're gonna have to just fall back. We're gonna have to hold here. They come in behind us, we're just gonna <laughs> get wrecked. I think it's working. It doesn't seem to have taken very much rocket damage. Don't like the fact that the repair units are up front. Oh, please don't go that way. Stop going toward the enemy. Stay in the shield bubble. Or the the, the jamming field. Get goofy. Goofy units? Let's go. Taking too many hits. I want you to fall back. To the line. So if we win this, we'll have saved like 14,000 credits worth of equipment, if not more. No, definitely more, because it'll be the hypervelocity cannon that'll be lost, which I think by itself is like 10 grand. The space station's a level 2 in orbit, and that's got to be at least 10,000. Not one step back! Vengeance is ours, men. The spirits of our fallen brothers will sleep soundly tonight. <sighs> well, slap me, Rosie. The jamming field. The jamming field stopped the rockets, allowing the allowing the uh, the, te the 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 walkers to just do their jobs. Didn't hurt that they were in a in a debuff area. I think it lowers their amount of like armor, so they take more damage. So they were sitting there in this bog, marching across this death field and getting shot to shit by anti-infantry. You know, those are the cheap walkers, too. 
Um, well, since, you know, we have the opportunity to not let that happen again, let's move some... Let's move some troops over there. I don't have any on standby. Really? Enlisting soldiers. All right, we're gonna we're gonna train. We're gonna get some. Wow, my infantry training has something to be to leave something to be desired. That's for sure. Um, oh, there it is. We've got the upgrade. Hey, we've got artillery finally. We've got the upgraded ATAT. -AT. We got the elite, which is gonna look like kind of like Veers' ATAT, -AT, I believe. Um, we've got. Oh, there it is. The striker. Specialized for in-atmosphere missions, the TIE Striker was identifiable by its horizontal high-speed wings and large central pod. It carries heavy and light lasers with a threat to even the most elite pilots. Proton Bomb Shoot. It can drop proton bombs. When you see the Y-wings come in and the, uh, the TIE Bombers come in, those are actually supposed to be proton bombs. I doubt they're going to be as powerful as that, but that seems extreme. We also get the IEDT, which was the replacement for the LAT. Um, yes. Vehicle in yes. production. Yes. Unit in production. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Uh, what would you like, sir? Yes. All of it. All of it. All right. What did that group need on the deck? I can't move you guys. I can't move you guys. Coraline can't train anything. Um, you can train. What if I gave you an upgraded? Hmm. hmm. I want to give Mike here some backup, but I don't know who I, where I want to pull it from. And I don't have the cash to train more, so we're kind of shit out of luck at the moment. You're going to have to just hold until some of those other units are built. I mean, I could move people from Rendil. Actually, yeah. Let's move like two ATSD companies over there. That'll help. Ready to go. As best we can do. Inputting for now. Um, because there's places like Coralag, which barely has any defenses. Got turbolizers. Hey Dean, thanks for the hundred bits. Get the Moth Palace on Coralag, I think. Should give us a nice chunk of change. On Coralag? Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh can't afford it at the moment, but you're not wrong. We do own the region nearby. Well, okay, here's the thing. It's two times planetary income, right? But the income is 63. 63. You're going to double that. Eh. And it'll cost 4,500. It's going to take a while for that to pay for itself. Not... Not super exciting amounts. All right. We're going to give the arcade a try. We're going to go hit... Hmm... We, I kind of want to bring a probe droid down here, but I'm also really impatient. We've got a probe droid ready to go. Come with me if you want to attack things. Let's see what Ryloth has got. We know what Hyporia has. We're not too concerned with their fleet. Actually, they've moved the fleet, so now it's just a space station. Can you not land those troops? There you go. Look at their trading ships punched lock in the face. Look at our build cap. Some of those space stations have finished. We're almost 100 up on build cap for being full. Nice. Hey, Roger. What's up, Great Cat? 100 complete. bits. I throw some bits in your general direction for coffee shack. Complete. My coffee is full. Thank you. Oh, what do we have? New mission. Reconnaissance. We have received word from some reliable sources. Enemy fleets are moving through an area we previously thought is secure. Investigate these security lapses immediately. Oh my god, it's my comment section come to life. The security lapses, Shaq, are unacceptable. You're losing space stations. Get your shit together. <laughs> Damn it. Somebody said this was Tarkin. Um, this isn't Tarkin. Tarkin's dead. Remember the timeline on this. Uh, it, though it does really look like him. It looks like him straight out of the Clone Wars. Uh, but... It can't be. I wish we could have Tarkin. I think that would be really cool. But we can't. Take a stealth unit to the planet of Locke. Well, that's easy enough. Don't we even have... We have... Yeah, we've got um, Storm Commandos. You guys are actually going to get to do your job. Come here, Storm Commandos. What are your orders? 
go poke it. We could have used the storm commandos to scout Ryloth. Mission log updated. Thanks. I didn't even look at what we got for that. Two grand. Not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. Hmm. You know, out of all of the bring the emperor back, right? It's a story that Disney's done. It's a story that, I don't know, how many times did they do it in the extended universe? Probably half a dozen times. Some way the emperor comes back. Why does nobody ever think to bring back Tarkin if you're going to have a big bad guy? Hmm. After that raid, now I'm a little gun shy. I think we need to upgrade our our ground outposts. Like, you could get a tier two. Under construction. And that would go a long way to protecting that hypervelocity cannon. Um, you could get a two tier Upgrade barracks. We could get some stormtroopers over here because it's ridiculous that we don't have any stormtroopers. Uh, and give me one of these ISB Fire. agents. I'm going to stick them on my cure in case they attack. That way we have that um, unmoving landed shuttle that's just covered in, you know, stormtrooper guns. How are you guys doing? I built this, but I feel like it's kind of, oh, you've got a two-tier outpost. You're doing okay. Vehicle in production. I have learned the glory that is the occupier tank. I'm going to build a shit ton of these. Every ground unit now gets one. All right, let's go punch something. I want to use the arc hammer. We're deploying for hype. Oh, oh, yeah, we were checking this out. That's not bad. Tier 1 space station. I kind of want to hit Hyporia first, though. Because they can go higher than a Tier 1, and I don't want to wait for that. I wonder if they're having credit problems. Have you noticed that a lot of worlds don't have max stations? I wonder if the Rebel Alliance is actually starting to... Even with their cheaty multiplier? No, I don't think they're having credit problems. They're just spending it on weird stuff. Yeah, that must be it. They must be spending it on weird stuff. 50 squadrons of, you know, T-wings. Construction complete. All right, let's go. Somebody asked in the comment section, isn't this campaign just about done? Like, aren't you already snowballing? And though that might be true for some 4X games, with Empire War, particularly modded versions, because of the way the, the AI works and because of the way that it kind of cheats credits, that the less planets they have, the more they focus where they build stuff. So it gets actually a little harder. Now that might be different with how the AI works in Awakening of the Rebellion in this version, because I think they've been tweaking it in the background. But yeah, they start focusing on like one shipyard starts producing a ton of stuff because they're not spread out all over the place. And it can get much harder to finish the job sometimes. Anyways, let's go see how, if the arc hammer was worth 60 grand. Do you think the AI cheating is unbalanced? No, I think it's required. Um, I have no problem that the AI cheats in most strategy games. It needs to, because it's never going to be equal to a thinking, breathing opponent. Uh, it needs to have some kind Choose of your you know, mechanical benefit. The player will always figure out a way to <clears throat> cheese it, or, oh, look at this thing. They, I think they made it smaller. Or at least, right oh, I, no, are. I'm thinking Blast of the them. remakes version of this from back in the day. It used to be like half the size of the damn, you know, map. Or I'd prefer it to be around the this size. Immediately, they're like, nah, I'm good. We, we're leaving. The Ark Hammer arrived and the Rebel Alliance ran. I just let him go. It's like three ships. I'm not worried about it. Well, successful test. <laughs> uh, it feels good to blow up a couple of their space stations. All right, let's go back to the outer rim. I want to take Ryloth. I don't want them to come back behind us. So let's go oh, give Ryloth way. a po. Oh, hello, Locke. How are you doing with your four capital ship fleet? That's a proper fleet. Like, that's a good mix. 23 fighter yeah. squadrons is a bit, a bit high, but, you know. Oh, is that Lat Commander dead dead? I think he is. No, that'd be Ground Commander. Uh, yeah, I think he's dead dead. I don't think we're getting those Lats back. That's all right, though. We got the Lat replacement. Already. Already on order. We'll actually be able to build as many of those as we want. 
Dark Troopers? We're not going to build Dark Troopers until we sit up someplace, and I don't think that's going to happen until we take the Outer Rim. All right, let's get to it. We got we got proper fight on our hands at lock. I might even... I need to get Vader moving. Vader needs to begin his invasion. I was thinking he could come down there and help us, but no, he's got business on his own. Let's do it. It wasn't a successful weapons test, but it was a successful test on... Yeah, it was a successful... Hey, they're scared of it. Run away. Did I not click the button? Begin battle. That was weird. Mining planet. Ryloth. That makes sense. The Empire coming to Ryloth to mine its natural resources. Sorry, Twi'leks. But, I mean, we're playing the Empire. It's gonna be done. Alright. Here we go. This time, there will be no escape. Interdictor behind. Gives us a huge visual. Like, our range, sensor range, is pretty good. Look at that. We can see all the way to the corners of the map. Small map. So, are they droids? Yes, they are. Thai droid squadrons. Now, I imagine they're going to be shit, but there are going to be, like, hundreds of them. Go! They sound like... Um, I'm going to turn up the volume. They sound like uh, probe droids. Really, really soft probe droid sounds. <laughs> now, you don't have a limit, right? General Rod Mark at your service. Excellent. Uh, oh yeah, we're gonna we're gonna read this. So, twelve is the wave size. Forty-eight total. In 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 backup, it's also got four hangers, so we can five, six hangers, six hangers, so we can launch them pretty quickly. Uh, heavy lasers, heavy lasers, heavy. Oh, so it's all heavy lasers. Okay, so you're all like. Corvette and weirdly Corvette and anti-fighter I'd imagine because remember they're lasers not turbo lasers huh okay uh so that means we need to keep you alive so let's get something a little Order bit more confirmed. impressive in the firepower range let's go actually heavy fighter as well we're gonna put you kind of on the back line a little bit um you had what you were a victory weren't you yeah and then we'll do one command and then we'll save the rest for support. All right, all droids, focus your fire on that Marauder because it entertains me. Can you guys kill a Marauder? Not your best target, but it might be hilarious to watch you try. How many light laser cannons does it take to break a Marauder? I can't see it. There's too many chips in the way. <gasps> can't even get a lock. All right, hunt the local targets and get ready for the next wave because they're going to be coming after us. Look at all the fighters being launched as the droids die. Bomber squadron reporting. Bomber squadrons come over here. Ties reporting in. Ties Orders, reporting in. Sir. Moving out. Heading Took out. the ties over here. They all dead? They're all dead. All right, here we go. Let's Choose get an escort ship on the front. And I think that's going to be it for us. I'm going to rely on, and this might be a mistake. I'm going to rely on the fighters to kill the enemy fighters that are coming in and not use the Lancers. I'm bringing in the Nebulon B to jam the incoming missiles that are inevitable. Let's go. Bank off. Ties. Same deal. Bank off. Where are you? Shit. Pop it. Jam, jam, jam. Is he too? He's not far enough forward. I dropped him too far. Not far enough forward. Come a boot. Oh, I like the missiles. I don't know what they're going after, but... Oh, they're going after A-wings that have engine boosted away. Uh, I'll switch to concussions and make a run through the group. Setting up my run. Factory ship ready. Star destroyer oh, standing standing off. Off. Factory ship ready. Where's those extra Tie bombers? Not the interceptors. They wouldn't mind having you up here. Looks like the fighters we are getting good work done. Getting a lot. Bombers at the ready. Get up here. Devis, what are you? You're, um, Punishers. Yeah, Punishers. Punishers, go blast something. Just get to it. ISD is probably going to take some hull damage in the front. Look at all those ties. Uh, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. And now they're just off to go find the next target. Here comes the B-Wings. So can we get a little uh, a little focus on the B-Wings, please? 
because I don't have the jamming capability right now. We're on reload. That's gonna smart. Ready for what do you, what do, you do? You jam your own missiles. You have that jamming missile shield thing. That's right. Alright. Creep up a little bit. Because I want to move him up. This is far forward as you're gonna go, isn't it? Yeah. A little bit of a slog right now, but I think we're okay. Yeah, shields haven't even failed on the IS-2. Looking good. The arc camera has an anti-missile shield field as well. Yeah. I kind of uh, didn't notice that until just now. Even the interdictor is getting in on the action. Wait, what? We didn't activate the interdictor and I was in cinematic mode. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna hear about that one in the comments. Oh man, good. I just assumed because they hadn't run that I had turned it on. Nope. Not bad though. Net three Nebulon B's down. We got the shipyard and the space station. Victory is ours. I'd say that's a substantially uh, positive, positive. Attack. Now, the only worry that I have is fighting over Locke, because that, unlike the last fight, this is a proper fleet. This is four capital ships, right? Three capital ships and an MC-40. All right, that's going to be one of your, like, brawlers with ion, heavy ions, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Yeah. I think that same, that same mix works pretty well. Oh, we might lose the interdictor, though, if we use it. Because if you put the interdictor along with the uh, arc hammer, you're using up a lot of your fleet cap. And we have to have enough firepower to break through the shields of MC-80s. And we do not want to be trickling it in. Ah, arc hammer might not be the best choice for this. Yeah. Check once again, your addiction to the cinematic camera is your downfall. You're not wrong. <laughs> you're not wrong. We should get a probe droid, make sure they don't have an ion cannon on the ground. There's so much stuff there. It's possible. Launching probe. But if... If we're not going to lose the, use the arc, let's move it. Arc, come over to Tatooine. Sit on that until they get a space station. And let's start training. Producing dark troopers. I like how he says Position. it. Producing dark troopers. You gotta say it just like that. Must be done. We'll leave a um. We'll leave one of our little escort turret builders there, and then we'll go. Moving to that location. We'll go off the tattoo and help defend it until we're ready. All right, we're looking pretty good. Well, I sort of look forward to reading the comments. I kind of know it's coming. I kind of know it's coming. But thank you guys so much for hanging out. Uh, if you enjoy the video over on the YouTube side of things, make sure you hit the sub button. Come charge. back and join us as we continue this campaign. Enjoy some sci-fi gaming goodness. Well, that's what you're going to want to do. I'll see you all in the next one. Later, everybody. Bye, guys.